Welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, the diagram below, AKS, NKC, AN, and SC are drawn such that AN is congruent to SC. So we already know that these two sides are congruent. Which additional statement is sufficient to prove that triangle KAN is congruent to KSC by angle angle side? So we already have the side taken care of because we know that the sides AN and SC right, are congruent. So we just need two angles. Well, one of the angles that we know, right, using vertical angles, I know that AKN is congruent to SKC. Right? So angle AKN, right, that measurement is equal to the measurement of angle SKC because they're vertical angles. So now I need another angle. Right. I know that I'm not going to be using one because that's going to give us another side. Right? If I were to use the fact that AS and NC bisect each other, then I can use SSA to prove that the triangles are congruent, but I want to use AAS. Same thing with option two. If I'm going to use the fact that K is the midpoint, that's going to give me another side congruence, which would prove it using SSA. But again, we want another angle congruence. So the one that could help us is number four. If I know that AN is parallel to SC, then I can use alternate interior angles to get another angle congruence. Right? Because if I know that they're parallel, if AN and SC are parallel, then using alternate interior angles, right, I can get that A will be congruent to S. And if I can pr uh, prove that congruence with alternate interior angles, then the triangles would be congruent.